Hello, I'm Dudley Thompson, and welcome again to WDT Media TV. We're joined by the Reggae Ambassador. What's the verdict winner? With a big song called, just send a guns to Jamaica. Jamaica. <laughs> yeah, man, Reggae Buster from US, Jamaican born. Rassi Manuel. Yes, Rassi sir. Manuel, welcome back, back to your hometown, Jamaica. I am pleased to be home. Um, this is my home. Yes. I can't stay away too long from my home. I'm, but you know, I'm working yes. for my country, mm. for my people. So to be the Reggae Ambassador for New Jersey, it still represents Jamaica. So I have to let the people them know that we are doing big things in the U.S. So don't feel away. Reggae music is moving like what? Lightning! All right, tell the Jamaican fans now, how do you feel to be a Jamaican and be the Reggae Ambassador of New Jersey? Wonderful feeling. That's all I can tell you. The boy from the Zing Fence jungle, mm -hmm. from Central Village. Yes. Yeah, born in public, grew up in Central Village. See? So it's a wonderful feeling now that we made history, my Jamaican people in New Jersey, US of A people. So it's a warm feeling for me and it's a joy that it bursts out of me sometimes. So now I'm in Jamaica, I'm feeling it now, being the ambassador for New Jersey, representing Jamaica. My people, love you. You have some big song over the years, like, like and so that goes to Jamaica, and also yeah. what, the bleaching one. Hey, you want bleach? <laughs> I hear thing that, but mm. you know us, so you know us, so me, you go stay black, black like the tar, black like the Dutch part. Jamaica, stop it, man. Sure. Yes, right. It's okay. back up now today, but no, the, the big song. I said, now guns to Jamaica. How that song actually came about? First, I want to big up Virgin Mikey, you know, mm. it's a Virgin that really pushed forward for that to happen. Yeah. But that, that song, the Sing No Guns to Jamaica, was a song that um, I felt needed mm -hmm. at that time and this time because mm -hmm. of the violence that's going on in Jamaica. And I was just there, it just came to me just like that. Right. And my brother Mikey was doing an album, and he says, just kings he wants in the album. Mm -hmm. In terms of like Warrior King, Natty King, King Everall, so, you know, yeah. stuff like that. But I told him, so listen, you like the song? And I don't care if the song made it on the last track on the album. Mm -hmm. I don't care. And eventually, it was the biggest song on the album. Right. Roots and Rights. Yes, so people, man. you can go check out Roots and Rights. And you find the album, Rusty Manuel is on it, not saying no going to Jamaica. So that song propelled me to a very high, in very high places, I should say. So um, I just want to tell everyone, please go support that track. Um, Roots and Rights, the album itself. All right? Rusty Manuel. And that song went on to, to make impact overseas. Well, I'm, I, won, I won, actually, I won two awards for that song. I won Song of the Year and Artist of the Year also with that song. Wow, in New Jersey? In New Jersey, yes. Oh, and this was also a big song inside What's the Verdict some and, years and ago. And it was uh, my first winning song in Jamaica. <laughs> and What's the, the Verdict? Yes. With Mr. Dudley Thompson and Roots FM 96.1. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm very fortunate to be a, cast, a contestant and a winner. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm very happy that Jamaica even supported this song. Yes. And thank you, Jamaica. Thank you, Mr. Dudley. And um, support it, Roots and Rights. I saw about education. That was also a big oh, song to education. I say, youths in the streets, yo. Get your education, build your nation. Yeah, that, that song also, education, was um a song I also toured also when I went to Gambia. Yeah. The song was well received in Gambia also. And, you know, I got many hit songs. Right. Um, you know, send a gun to Jamaica, everybody know that. You know what I'm saying? But we have songs like, Boss, 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 everybody want boss. From Kingston, go straight to poor. Come on, boss, 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 everybody want boss. Yes. See me, papi, they and see them songs. Just go look them up. I'm not DJ them up because we're not interview. So just go look them up on YouTube, Rassi Manuel. Mm -hmm. See? So we have songs like, um, the song where we said, Woman, me love you goodly, me say next door to God. Now tell no lie, me not sell no sand fire again. Me love you goodly girl, next door to God. Now, me not DJ them out. Go look, check on YouTube, <laughs> the album that day. You find all of those beautiful songs. All right? <laughs> and also the song about the bleaching as well. The bleaching song? Yeah, man, that was also. A, a, oh, a, a, my God. That was, an, you see, I'm saying so much each song. Mm -hmm. You see? 
You want bleach? I hear thing that. But you know, sir, you know, sir, me, I go stay black. Black like the top, black like the Dutch part. Jamaica, stop bleach out that spot you got there. Stop it. <laughs> Are you hearing what to Go ahead. You're hearing how to do a, a video, right? I did, I did yes. already. Yes, we have done a majority of the, the video shoot um, by video bar. Mm. And um, he have a couple more shoots to do, but he, you know, he's going to do that on his own. But the performing part, he already get it. And yeah. then the singer named um, um, Little Rapper, a.k.a. Black Man. Mm. So, you know, that song, is a song that we want people to, it's a, it's a song that you can't fight life. You have to just enjoy what you have. Yeah. You see? So I'm not going to tell you anything about that song yet until... The tip of we're gonna get the next interview on that song. Yeah, right. Dudley. So we have we're gonna hold it right now and that song. But you're gonna see a couple of clippings. I'm not gonna tell you anything here. It's a little, you know, I'm not gonna tell you anything yet. And right, tell us now about so it and your journey across the world. I know you go to in Jamaica now, based in America, you go to Africa. Tell us about your sojourn as an artist like when you are globe trotting. Well, oh my god. As I said, a little boy from Central Village, mm. the Zing Fence Jungle. Knowing that Music, reggae music, dance and music, that we do both. You know, it takes you so far. Yeah, my trading, I went to first, I started off with a band named Easy Star, based mm -hmm. in New York. Um, actually, they are the first one, I have to give props. They are the first one, really, really take me on the road. And um, the first place I went to was Australia. Mm -hmm. And it, it was very awesome. I have a good friend of mine, Rasta, with the bass man, we actually going, you know, doing, make that happen actually, also. And we did our next tour in England. We did we did like maybe sixteen tour in England. Um, Australia we did like I think maybe about five or six tour in Australia. Then when I came back, I also toured Mystic Bowie, um, the US. We we toured the whole US. And after that, I came back and settled a little bit. Came back to Jamaica. Then I went back to America. Then um, I went to Africa twice wow. yeah and um we just keep doing it so i'm home right now i come home to shoot this video mm -hmm. you know so i'm doing my thing and you know me already i'm i'm that person just doing it i don't care about media and nothing like that you're doing the work i'm just doing the work when the media catch me they catch me just like you mr dudley thompson <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah i tell you make tell the fans now how are the response like to your songs like in australia and, and africa you know what I have to say this, thank the African people, Australian people, England people, because they make me feel like a king, all right? But the songs, what you think um, people wouldn't gravitate to, in that sense, why I say that, because the type of music that I do, I'm just doing uplifting, uplifting music, yes. period. You know what I'm saying? If it's dance, it's still uplifting, you know, if it's dancing, it's still uplifting. Mm. But the people gravitate it in a, in a way that they keep wanting more. So mm -hmm. they keep saying this, they want some more video, they want more music. And actually those people are the people that actually um, buy my album. And I have to give a big shout out to them. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. the, the gravitation is high. Both in Africa and also down All over Europe, Australia. the world, Europe. everywhere. The Caribbean also, although mm -hmm. I don't touch certain place yet, you know. You know, oh, um, how do you see the future of, of, of reggae on a global stage? Well, the future of reggae is sealed. Bob Marley himself is seen. He said this music shall go on and go on until you find the right people. Mm -hmm. Who's the right people? That's a big question. And we're still asking that question. Bob didn't say who's the right people. But I hope you know who's the right people. Right. If you keep an eye, you will know who's the right people. Because reggae music can't die. Mm -hmm. The great dancehall music can't die. You understand? So you as a reggae personality, you have to keep that reggae going, that good dancehall music going. And that's how you stay here. And um, flourish anywhere go in the world. Yeah, man. All right. About the book, okay, I can't book you. Only can feature. But I want to book you know, for shows and in, and in only can reach you. Okay, you can um link me at rasemmanuel at gmail .com. That's r a s dot emmanuel e m m a e l at gmail dot com. Mm. Or you can IG me Ras Emmanuel Music or uh, Ras Emmanuel. Or you can link me on Facebook. Same Ras Emmanuel. There's so much ways. Um. And you can hit this number to 862-250-4170. And you can um, big up that and just look me up and, you know, you can find me. And I want to big up Goldie Enterprise. 
Gondi Enterprise is owned by brothers um, Lawrence and um, Nasir Gaudi. Um, that's also an entity that we provide to produce also. Actually, my brother is an ex exclusive producer and that. And um, he's here um, mm -hmm. producing a um, couple of artists. You yeah. have um, Same Little Robert yes. in his project. You have Capitan in his project right now. And you have Anthony Red Rose and his wow. project. You have, couple, you have the Singers Anthem. Yes. Remember the Singers Anthem people. Um, my brother is an exclusive producer of that. So you can look up that, the Singers Anthem on YouTube and check it out. And I myself, um, Central Village Rise Records, you can look me up too. We have many songs out there. So that's where it's at right now. All right, all the best there to you in your, in your career. Thank you so much. So what next for you now? Any shows you're making? Although well, the, the pandemic kind of... <laughs> yes, um, shows in the making. So we're making arrangements to do some bookings right now. We have been getting calls. Actually, since I'm here in Jamaica, my phone has been blowing up. Wow. Because, yeah, people have seen. We just did um the video. A part of the video was shot. Let me just give you a little D. I'm not going to tell you the song right now. But part of the video was, sh was shot um in Otrius. So the, you know that place um right river reggae park? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people that I wish they fixed that place up back man and get it back together. But we do a little piece right there. So look out for that. That's an IG. So you will if you really want to know about the song, check out that clip in the Rasty Manuel IG page. Right? A member becomes a fan and subscribe. Alright? Alright. This is the reggae ambassador. I say. I mean them can't call. How we them can't sponsor Dudley? Them were then over there so can't cross your border. Earthquake and lava. Tell them to are your master. Furthermore, I am your defender. Mr. Dudley, them this the program. Them is a madman. When them fool and them wound they come from. Tell them shit rock me, shit and I'll then they go. Mr. Dudley, go oh, in the fire, but you did not get burned because you are freedom fight. That's about your charity in, um, in Gambia. Oh, that's a great project we're doing. Um, Diga Muta Baruka from Gambia. So he's the one that really foresight for me over there. Mm. Oh, the, 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 what we're doing in Gambia, basically, we help children go to school. Mm. And, you know, privileged children, we try our best to give them that school opportunity. Yeah. And the Antilla Day Foundation, that's what we do. And also, we also help you know, the, the unfortunate. Mm -hmm. And we've been sending burials. Um, we go, we visited schools. And we also give school supplies to schools that really need it. So people that come on board. And also, if we find that a child needs need sponsor, I would recommend that parents to the sponsor, the person that's going to sponsor that child. So I don't have nothing to do with it in terms of you're going to give Rasta Manuel money and then I give the person. No. I recommend the, the person that's sponsoring the child to the parents of oh, that child. So yeah. I don't have nothing to do with no money. You understand what I'm saying? So I will help in that way. So when I go to Gambia, I also visit the schools and we assess what needed and we try our best. I'm just a one-man army. But um, when people see what I'm doing, they contribute, and right away we send it to send the gambler. So there's no money thing or nothing. This is just from my art to my to my Gambian people. Why? Why I'm doing this for Gambia? Because Gambia welcome me. When I just go to Gambia, they give me a warm welcome, and I felt it. And when I see certain situation, I cry because I am, I cry, and I. I know what is poverty. You know, I grew up in a, a place where it, it's not a one, two, three. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? And when I go and see Africa for myself, I see certain things I didn't like. You know, so I try my best. The first time I went there, um, I did a couple shows, and all my proceeds I give back to the community of everywhere I went. Oh, that's good. I give it back. I didn't take no money, right? Because what I see, I didn't like. So I'm not saying I'm trying to don't take no money when I do shows. It's not like that. But in certain situations, when I see certain things, yeah. and I can fix it right away, because we're just living with no man knowing when you're gone. If you can make a print and hurt that you did something, why not? That's up full. 
you know, money is not all, brethren. Today you give a million, tomorrow you get three million. You right. never know. Yeah. You see? So, whatever I can do, and you know that, Mr. Dudley, I'm a person that I sponsored. Even you, yes. Mr. D. Yes. I sponsored your program from time to time. Yes, yes. And I will always do, because you're always good to me. See? So, people, I'm, I'm not a rich man. Please, don't, don't even think about that. <laughs> I'm just a working man like you. Music and work, all right? <laughs> but people, the Antilla Day Foundation, where we do, help the poor and needy, especially in Africa. All right? So if you have something to give, you can link me, ras.emmanuel at gmail.com. That's ras.emmanuel at gmail.com, all right? R-A-S dot Emmanuel at gmail.com. Love you. Boom! People, so we are still at 14 Bistro at a pub. Seeing is a like an Airbnb, what you call it. So, you fly into Jamaica, please come here. It's nice, they got music, the rooms. Oh my god, look, we got trees, aki trees, everything. Look, I even look like a palm tree right here. See that? See, leafberry tree, very tree. It's, a, tree. it's very nice. See, mm. people come on, support our own Jamaican that doing their thing. We cannot not support our own Jamaican. Why? We have to support our own Jamaican. So remember, 14 Bistro, see that? The pub. And it's 14 Leonard Road. Road of Agley Park Road. Come on. Can't miss it. Can't miss it. Support the brother. Like my people, them are two things. Jamaica for life. Yeah.